YouTube Zodiacs, what's good? It's your favorite Gemini cast, Gemini, and I am back. I'm back with a unboxing. It's been like forever since I've actually done an unboxing. Uh, today, we do have Scarlet Witch, the premium format from Sideshow Collectibles. Um, very excited to open this, very excited to unbox this. And this is actually off of Sideshow Second, so it did come with a $90 discount for not including the original brown shipper was a uh, you know supposedly damaged so ended up getting this for 90 bucks off i didn't feel like that was a bad a bad price i'm very excited to dive into this so without further ado let's up let's unbox the box here you can see the inside contents of the box uh this is scarlet witch it comes with a fabric cape as well as the arms the hex powers everything is looking good shout out to the hex all right now that you guys have seen what the insides look uh, this is the base, and I'll get close-ups of everything, of course. Uh, I just want to let you guys know that this is number 421 out of 3,000. Again, that is number 431 out of 3,000. Um, towards the end of the video, we will get more close-ups, but here on the bottom of the base, we can actually see all of the contents of the, uh, like, the Vortex powers along with the Scarlet Witch, um, this is actually very, very amazing. Very amazing. Um, I'm kind of like scared actually to like pull everything out. Uh, I always get kind of frightened. Like, you know, I don't want nothing to go wrong. So, you know, I'm, I'm one of those people like in the beginning when I first started statue collecting, I would pretty much kind of rush and do this. But um, as you guys can see on the cape, it's actually a lighter red here on the inside, and on the outside, it's more of a, uh, I think it's like a different texture. I can't think of the word of it, but it is amazing. I mean, I am amazed with everything, everything they did on this statue. This is a great statue. It does key in right here up top. Go ahead and uh, show you guys that as well. We'll get to the uh, close-ups. Trying to make sure we get this key in correctly. Is it going farther or is that it? I think that is it. Let me see here. Yeah, that's it. I'm using force and she's in. She is in. Yeah, no doubt, man, no doubt. All right, we have another piece of a the vortex looks like this one goes on the base here somewhere so i have to find a uh, a key for the base so on the bottom of the base behind her left foot is actually going to be a uh, place for you to key this in here so we'll go ahead and get this in got to move the cape out the way is what it's what it's looking like yep so just move the cape out the way you'll be able to Get that uh, snugged right in. Got to get the two hands on. This is the first hand here. You guys can see. Again, we will be doing uh, some close-ups in a little bit. Now this second hand, oh man, thank God this didn't come broken because this was kind of out of a styrofoam a little bit. Man, this is amazing. Amazing. Ultron, baby. Oh, and the, and, and, and the lady of the hour, the teeth. Come on, teeth. Come on to the teeth, man. Please, nothing. Please, nothing. I'll let you guys, you guys be the judge of it. I, I think the teeth could have been better. And like I said, I, we'll do close-ups. I think the teeth could have been better, but I don't, it's nothing that's like, oh, don't get the statue because of the teeth. It's nothing like that, at, like at all. It's nothing like that at all. Let's go ahead and set this uh, portrait in here nice and easy. Nice and easy. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, the Scarlet Witch herself? What are you talking about? The Scarlet Witch herself? Heck yeah. Okay. 
okay? This is a badass statue. Shout, hey, shout out my guy Arch, by the way, man. Shout out my guy Arch, man. I hit up Arch. I'm like, yo, Arch, what you thinking, man? Because I know, you know, Arch gonna keep it. Arch gonna keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Arch gonna keep it real. He gonna keep it funky. You know, he ain't gonna, you know, he gonna, he ain't gonna sugarcoat it, man. Uh, shout out Arch, man. Um, Arch also has her. Shout out Razor Ramon. He also has her as well. Um, you know what I'm saying, man? All right, having a little trouble getting the hands in. Ooh, ooh, boy, ooh, boy, ooh, boy. Having some trouble getting the hand in. Let me make sure I'm doing this correctly now. All right, let me look. Let me take a look at something real quick. Look at the box, see how she is. So it's supposed to be like this, so. Yeah, so it should be like this then, if I'm not mistaken. Damn, can't believe I'm actually uh, struggling. Got me over here looking at my own, looking at my own, uh, my own uh, thumbs and stuff to make sure I'm uh, doing it right. <laughs> We do have the uh, finished and final product of the uh, Scarlet Witch. Um, it did take me a while to uh, <laughs> figure out the hand parts, which I'm not really sure why, but it did take me a while to figure out the hand parts. Um, before I dive into the uh, to the close-ups, um, and you'll see why, I want to give a big shout out again to Arch because, like, when I did talk to him and ask him about the uh, the portrait and everything, he was like, "Man, it looks good to me," you know. And like I said, for six hundred dollars along with the $90 Sideshow Seconds, <clears throat> excuse me, with a Sideshow Seconds discount, this is a, this is really, really nice. I really love the cape. Um, like I said, I tried to pose it the best I could. I'm not a poser, but I like how the cape looks on her. It's a very good quality cape. And for stuff like this, this honestly makes me, you know, feel very okay with uh, mixed media capes moving forward. If they're gonna do capes like this, this is good. This is good. I like how, the cape is already like on her. Like you don't have to pin it down like Thor, Breaker, or Brimstone. This is already on. That definitely helps out as well. Very good piece. Let's dive into these close-ups because I know you guys are ready to see the portrait, the base, everything in more detail. I cannot wait. Shout out Slash of Seconds. And again, shout out my boy Arch, man. Let's get it. All right, guys, we are back with the close-ups. And I just wanted to show you guys a couple things. Like look at the Ultron head right here. Look at the head. Look at the colors, the, the pinks, the the reds. I mean, look at everything. Look, Just look at that. And, you know, a lot of people were very, very hesitant on this uh, here, but I don't see why. You know, when we look at everything, you know, just working our way down to the base, look at that. I mean, you get the whirlwind effect, um, the Ultron in the vortex, the cape is, the cape is like, it's, it's otherworldly out the cape. I mean, look at, look at the cape. Look at the cape. I mean, it's, it's truly, truly next level. And you know, the teeth were a big thing of discussion. So we're definitely going to dive into the teeth, but I just want to make sure everybody is seeing this. Like, look at this, uh, look at Ultron's head. Look how they... I mean, that is just, it's crazy. I'm almost speechless. Um, and like I said, the fact of getting this for an extra $90 off was all the more icing on the cake. All the more icing on the cake. But let's dive into the team. All right, guys, so here is the controversial uh, Scarlet Witch grill portrait. Let's see if we can dive in here a little deeper and show you guys what we are seeing here so i personally don't see anything wrong with a grill i mean it's obviously not perfect but as close up as you honestly have to be i don't i don't think you let this detour you from purchasing i mean the portrait is perfectly fine obviously you have the hex powers above it but i mean Nothing is wrong with this grill, in my personal opinion. Nothing at all. 
I mean, just again, everything on this statue is spot on amazing from the cape, the vortex power, everything is spot on amazing. Hey, shout out Sideshow. You guys definitely outdid yourselves on this one. I am very, very proud. I am pleased to own this and <laughs> trust and believe, man. I'm going to leave a link in the description if anybody is uh, wanting this statue. There will be a link in the description. You guys can click on the link and certainly go ahead and purchase this yourself if you would like. Shout out Sideshow Collectible. Shout out Sideshow Seconds for the $90 off this beauty. And I'm so glad to have uh, Wanda into the collection. She is in the cash cave and damn. She is going up top. This is a beauty. Woo! Be All right, so guys, given this um, on the review side, given this a rating, uh, starting our way at the base, I'm going to give the base a 5 out of 5. I feel like this base is amazing. The base has everything on it that you would actually want the base to have. Uh, it's a small footprint. The colors are beautiful. The base has a vortex powers. Um, it also has Ultron in there. So I think the base, honestly, is a 5 out of 5. Uh, working our way up to the paint application. Uh, the paint application, honestly, based on everything we're seeing here, the paint is also a 5 out of 5. The paint is the one thing that gra gra made me gravitate towards this statue from the very first moment I saw this. I knew this was something that I was going to go ahead and actually pick up just based on the paint alone. The base, the paint. Now let's look at the concept and the, and the design. The concept of everything that's going on, surprisingly, I also give it a 5 out of 5. I, I, I generally love the statue. And I may be biased or whatnot, but I generally love this statue. Um, the concept of the powers of her floating... Uh, the paint, the base, I mean, all those are five out of fives. And also the design of the cape is well executed. As you guys can see in the inside, it's very red. In the outside, it's a little darker, different feel, different texture. It's a very good cape. This cape doesn't make me feel bad about having a fabric cape over a sculpted cape. Even look at her hair. Even her hair is like, it's flowing it's really designed well. Like it's 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 some really good hair, you know? Um, it's really, really designed well. The vortex powers up top, the hex powers rather, are amazing. As you can see Ultron up there. I mean, just look at everything you're getting, man. Honestly, just look at everything you're getting. The only knock anybody can say on this statue is the teeth. And even then, I'm, I'm giving that a four out of five on the portrait just because of the teeth, but the teeth aren't bad enough to where it's like, you see what I'm saying? It's not bad enough to where it's like, it, it's just, it's all out wrong. It's not, it's not. So overall from a grand score of things, just because of the one four, I'm giving the statue a 4.5 out of five. The teeth are the only knock, but it's not a big enough knock to knock it down. It's, it's, this is an amazing statue. This, by far, is the best female portrait, female statue I, I have in my collection. Granted, I only have two, but I'm just saying. It's still a good statue, and I love it. I'm very thankful. Um, can't say this enough, man. Shout out my brother Arch, man, because I definitely hit up Arch and asked him. Uh, shout out Razor Ramon as well. Um, I, I'm very, very thankful to pick this up. Uh, being able to pick it up for the $90 off on Sideshow Seconds all definitely helps as well. But this was amazing. Uh, this is definitely a cash out. If you haven't picked this up yet, you're thinking about it, this is most definitely a cash out. Um, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. I will be bringing you guys more content. Once we do hit six, uh, 600 subs, there will be two giveaways. That's right, not one, but two giveaways on one of our live shows. Or maybe we'll just go live and do a fan appreciation chat. So I just want to say I thank you guys as always. It's your boy Cash the Gemini. And remember one thing, Cash out, baby.